Hey there, cats and kittens. So I don't know about you, but ever since the Wi-Fi, the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Finder went kaput, I have not been able to find a single good place to find um, Wi-Fi battles, people to battle for Wi-Fi battles. Um, but I decided uh, when I had this battle to give the, uh, the Pokemon Showdown Wi-Fi room a shot. It says ask for battles here, but it also says ask for trades, and it's like 99% of people asking for trades and clones. So, um, but then again, I asked for a doubles battle and someone responded, so whether that's because, you know, I, I'm Antar and I'm a big deal on Showdown, not because I'm a good battler, but because I'm an admin, um, or whether people just wanted a battle, I don't know. But anyway, so my opponent is, uh, someone who I met, and I'm not gonna try to figure out how to parse his name, uh, through that. He also has an account on Smogon. Um, but anyway, yes. Uh, I lead, led off with my unbeatable, not unbeatable, but pretty awesome uh, Mammal Swine uh, Rotom Wash pair. Really great synergy there, as anyone who's done BBC can tell you. Uh, and I just didn't want to lose my Mammal Swine first turn to uh, Hydro Pump. Instead, he actually went for a Willow Lift against my Treadle Dumb, uh, my Trevenant. Uh, most people will say that Trevenant is kind of sucky, and you know, I don't disagree. Um, but whatever, I wanted to have an XY Pokemon on this team, and. Uh, Having Grass type, that is also Ghost, gives it a bunch of nice immunities, namely to Spore uh, and to you know fighting type moves. So anyway, uh, it's the it's not the Harvest set, it's the Resto uh, Natural Cure set. Uh, I could have done Harvest. I actually do have access to a Harvest uh, Phantom that I could breed, but I just didn't. I just like the reliability of it, and you know, I may re-breed it some point in the future, but for now I'm just sticking with this because it's a set I know, and I've already got the Trevor. So anyway, uh, so he sends it on his revival zone, and looking at his team, I'm thinking, is he gonna, does he have a Mega on his team? If so, that's gonna be the Mega, because no one else can Mega evolve, but I've never actually seen Mega Abomasnow, so I actually have no idea what its stats are, all I know is it's an Abomasnow. Um, so here, indeed, it does Mega Evolve into a Mega Bomb of Snow, and I gotta say, Mega Bomb of Snow looks sick. So this is another shiny Gardevoir that is going to Mega Evolve. I have two, and they're completely different breeds. This one is Telepathy. Telepathy goes really well with um, Mammal Swine and R Rotom. You can switch into an Earthquake, and can switch it into a Discharge, does no damage. Here my opponent both switches out into Hitmontop. I thought, that's rather strange. I am a Psychic type. I also have... The, um, the, I also have the Pixelate boosted fairy type hidden, uh, hyper voice. So, not exactly sure why that switch had happened, but it did. So, I'm thinking, okay, well, that should be good for me. Uh, I go ahead and Mega Evolve this turn, but I also go for Protect because I don't want to get picked off. Um, so, yeah, uh, Gardevoir goes for the Protect. Hitmontop goes for Wide Guard, but it's not actually going to matter at all because Rico, my scissor, who used to be on my, uh, Gen 5 Uber's team, goes for the Bolt Punch, takes out Mammoth Swine, and that's freaking awesome. So yeah, I didn't really get to see what Mammoth, uh, what uh, Obama Snow does, uh, because I just killed it really quickly. Trick Room ends here, that's great. Uh, out comes Heatran, Heatran, not, so I've got nothing to take. This is really not a good situation for me because my Rotom Wash's health is so low, and I've actually got a serious Heatran weakness on this team now that I real now that I think about it. So I send out Tachikoma, I don't know why, it was a bad idea, uh, but maybe I should put on some sort of super effective move against Heatran onto uh, my Gardevoir. I, I know it gets something, I, even if it's just hidden power fighting, although I, that would involve rebreeding, so I'm not likely to do that. Um, also, probably hidden power ground, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I lose two Pokemon there, and one of them is my Rotom, and that's not great. That's really bad, actually. So, he goes ahead and protects with his Heatran, uh, as he's tr obviously trying to set up the Trick Room. That's okay, I know what I'm doing here. I go for the EQ, does a lot to Dust Cloth, does not take it out, but a Shadow Claw from Trevenant does, so uh, Treadle Dumb gets a kill, uh, and it's not completely useless. I'm very happy about this. So now, Trick Room is still, uh, Trick Room is no more, or I figured Trick Room is no more, maybe Cresselia runs it, maybe it doesn't. I don't know why I didn't predict this. It was such an obvious move that he would fake out um, my Koopa Loop. But luckily, thanks to Thick Fat and thanks to uh, Assault Vest, 
Nailless One can take that. I am. I cannot believe that Nailless One could take that. Uh, I was really, really surprised. So anyway, um, Heatran protects itself. Kubaluk goes for Icicle Crash against um, Hitmon on top. I was hoping for the KO, but not after Intimidate and no flinchy flinch for me. His hit on top outspeeds my hit on top. Goes for the close combat, takes out Poopaloop. Loop. Really not good. Really, really not good. But it's not like I had a better move. The best I could do is send out Scissor, and Scissor wouldn't like to take the hit either. Plus, if he had, had protected, anyway. Yeah. So this is not looking good for me. I figure this game is basically lost. But then he sends out Cresselia against my Scissor. I'm like, why did you do that? Doesn't make any sense. Cosmic F goes for close combat. I was hoping to KO the. The he actually goes with a double switch, um, and I'm able to take out the Rotom on the switch. So, woohoo! Now I go for the Bug Bite, and like, super effective against Cresselia, does not actually KO. Very surprised here, but it doesn't matter because even if he protects, it doesn't matter what he does next turn, I can just go for the Faint, and that's it. So Hit on Top goes for Fake Out here, again with the Fake Outs! Oh, sheesh! Um, so that sucks. That really sucks. I don't actually manage to take out the Hitmon Top with my Hitmon Top, uh, and Cresselia does manage to set up a Trick Room. But you know what? Uh, I've got one slow Pokemon and one with priority. Actually, they're both slow Pokemon. Scissor is technically slower than Hitmon Top, as I'll get to in a second. So I managed to take out Cresselia, and at least this is a close game. In fact, actually, actually, look at the situation. This is a good situation for me because I'm up 2 0. Now, yes. Uh, Trick Room is up, Heatran is probably slower than... So I go for the heat, uh, the Wide Guard here, I figure... I think especially with the new Wide Guard mechanics, this could be incredible. Uh, I... Yeah, he goes for Heat Wave, and can't do Jack, and um, here he goes for Protect, as Rico goes for Roost, and I was like, why didn't Rico go first? Because we put him on top, and uh, I... I don't know. But uh, it's because... Uh, I don't understand speed tiers, and hit my power is much faster than I gave it credit for. Here I did a stupid, stupid, stupid play. I could have won the game, um, except for two things. Number one, I did a stupid play. I did not go for another wide guard. And number two, I got burned. So, okay, fine. The intimidate, I got two intimidates off. I, I wasn't going to KO with that move, but I could have gone for wide guard the next turn, stalled out the trick room, and then KO'd with another close combat. And I am such a freaking idiot for losing the match like that. I couldn't believe it.